Good morning. Hello and welcome everyone. In today's world where digital ecosystems are expanding faster than ever, security can no longer be a afterthought. It must be engineered, built in, not bolted on. I am thrilled to invite you to a comprehensive 12 part video series on security architecture and engineering, a foundational and advanced exploration that bridges theory, practice and governance. Whether you are a student beginning your journey or a cyber security practitioner refining your craft or a compliance professional aligning systems to regulatory mandate, this series has been thoughtfully created for you. In phase one, we set the groundwork with core concepts. We unpack security models like Bella Podala, Biba, Clark Wilson. We understand system architecture and its principles, including the trusted computing base and the reference monitors. We'll explore preventive, detective and corrective controls. Evaluate systems through common criteria, TCSEC and ITSEC and dwell into cryptographic design and secure system components like hardware, firmware and softwares. That's phase one. In phase two, we move into deep technical exploration. Here, we explore security design principles like defense in depth, least privilege and fail secure. You learn about enterprise architecture frameworks such as SAPSA, TOGAF and Zachman. We'll also cover secure coding, SDLC security integration, engineering focused vulnerability management and dwell into architecture for embedded systems, IoT, mobile, cloud native platforms and containerization. You will gain insights into hardware based securities like TPMs, HSMs, secure boots and trust zones as well as emerging domains like zero trust architecture, confidential computing and the impact of AI ML on architecture. In phase three, we'll turn the spotlight to real world relevance through threat model modeling methodologies like Stride, Dread and Pasta. We will analyze actual breaches, what went wrong and what could have gone right. These case studies will contrast vulnerable versus resilient architectures, giving you blueprints for building secure enterprise patterns while avoiding anti-patterns that exposes organizations to risks. Finally, in phase four, we will converge technology with governance. We will explore how to map architectural design to standards like ISO 27001, Annex A, NIST SP 800-160 and others. We learn how to perform architecture level risk assessments and how to design systems that are not only secure, but compliant with global regulations like GDPR, India's DPDP Act, HIPAA and PCI DSS. Each episode is crafted with clarity and depth, backed by real world examples, theoretical models and regulatory insights. My goal is to demystify complex security concepts empower you to design defensible systems and help you think like a security architect. So if you are passionate about building systems that are secure by design, resilient by architecture and governed by compliance, this series 
is for you. Please subscribe, follow along and join me in this transformative journey into security architecture and engineering. Let's build a safer digital world, one secure design at a time. This is your host, Savit Vithal Salian. Namaskar. Security, Architecture and Engineering Part 5 Formal Security Evaluation Criteria Formal Security Evaluation Criteria These are standards used to evaluate and compare the security features of systems. There are four Trusted Computer System Evaluation Criteria also known as Orange Book. Second, Information Technology Security Evaluation Criteria. Then, Common Criteria. And last, Protection Profile and EALs. Trusted Computer System Evaluation Criteria or TCSEC also known as an orange book, the orange book. It provides criteria for evaluating the confidentiality feature of the operating system. As an example to understand better, a US government contractor builds a secure operating system and wants it certified to handle classified data. The OS is evaluated under the TCSEC and receives a C2 rating which means it enforces access control, it logs user activity and it identifies user before granting the access. This certification proves it meets the basic standards for accountability and confidentiality. The real world example is early versions of Microsoft Windows NT were evaluated under the TCSEC and had received C2 certification when configured correctly. However, this was primarily useful in controlled standalone environments and not over networks. But here the idea is to give you a perspective of what TCSEC is all about. The ITSEC which is Information Technology Security Evaluation Criteria. It's an older European standard that evaluates both confidentiality and integrity. As an example, a European vendor creates a secure messaging system and wants it evaluated for confidentiality and integrity. But do note, it's not for availability. Under the IT sec, they specify functionality classes, which is in this case FC2, which is confidentiality and integrity and assurance level which is E3 that is medium level assurance through testing and structured design review. ITSEC allows separate evaluation of functionality and assurance offering the required flexibility. Real world example, before common criteria was adopted many European government used ITSEC evaluation to assess Proprietary Secure Communication System. Common Criteria or ISO 15408. It's a global standard for evaluating the security of software and hardware. It uses protection profiles and evaluation assurance levels to describe and assess 
security features. Example, a firewall vendor wants to sell to government agency. They prepare a security target, which is describing exactly what the firewall does and what it protects. The product is then tested and evaluated at EAL 4, which is Evaluation Assurance Level 4, meaning it has undergone structured testing and design review. This gives the customer confidence that the product behaves securely and has been independently verified. In real world, many commercial products have been evaluated under common criteria and certified at various EAL levels, depending on the intended use case and regulatory requirements like Cisco routers, Fortinet firewall, Microsoft Windows Server, etc. Protection Profiles and EALs A protection profile is a document that defines security requirement for a type of product. EALs range from 1 to 7 and represents how thoroughly a system has been tested for security. In summary, the TCSEC, the strength is strong confidentiality model, focuses on OS level control and classification level. The ITSEC is flexible functionality and assurance is its strength. It separates assessment of features. The common criteria is a widely accepted and a modern standard. It is focused on customizable profile and evaluation levels. With this, we come to an end of part 5. We covered the original agenda. We will now be closing this part 5 here and moving to part 6. This is your host, Savit Vithal Salian. Namaskar.